Hey, Taylor. Uh, it's Josh from the Riot Report. I guess just overall impressions of the first um, first few helmets and shells practice and, and with Matt Rule and how they're different from practices that you've had in the past. Practices are very fast, um, very energetic. I mean, I would say that um, – it's, it's been a good, it's, it's definitely been a good few days in helmets. And I'm just, for me, focusing on what I can do to get better day in and day out and just tweaking things and doing everything I can do to make myself the best player I can be and do everything I can do to, um, for the team. So. Taylor, uh, Steve Reed from the Associated Press. What do you, what do you, um, you talking about, you know, how they'd run through a brick wall for, for Coach Rule and – there's just something about his energy or what, I don't know what it is, but, you know, can you explain to it what us, you know, what, what it, what it kind of is it that, that, you know, players seem to have this, you know, whatever they can for him. Well, he's, he's a real, he's a real guy. You can tell already, you can tell he's someone that really cares for the players. He's someone that um, makes sure that things are done right. And I think, you know, you know, on a level, it, it means a lot when you know that the coach, cares and will do anything to put us in the best spots and knowing that he's someone that that's there for us and we want to reciprocate that do everything we can to make sure that we're out there giving it 100 percent you know mentally and physically for him so taylor this is miles simmons from panthers.com what does the high energy and the pace of practice just do for you guys because i mean we as we're watching it it just feels like it's very up tempo and you guys, you guys aren't really standing around a lot well, I mean, as an offensive lineman, I think it, it puts gets us in better shape, um, which is you know always good, <clears throat> especially because you know we're guys up front out there the entire drive. We don't get subbed, so I think it's really good to make sure we're you know the best conditioned team, especially when it comes down to the crunch time of the fourth quarter that we're out there and um, you know, we got 100 percent focus because we you know we're in the better shape, and um, it's just it's it's so efficient how we can bang out you know, two and a half hours worth of practice in the one and a half, you know, and it's just that I like how efficient it is. I think, you know, we, as a team collectively, it's, it's a, it's very good. You're talking hey, about the Joe. Hope you're doing well, man. Wonder if uh, you know whether your agent has had any talks with the Panthers about possibly getting you extended. And if you think there, do you have any sense whether that could happen before the season? Um, you know, I have, I have a lot of trust in my agent. And me jumping into that is to me is like I don't trust what he's doing. I know that I'm I'm 100 percent focused on football being the best you know Taylor Moten offensive tackle I can be. And you know I'm in camp and that's that I'm worried about right now, day in and day out the process of football. You know and I've been told and I my whole life grinding and saying that I do what I'm supposed to do. You know I focus on taking things one day at a time and all the other and everything else will fall into place. You know, that's part of trust in the process. And, you know, I'm, I'd like to think I'm a very process oriented person. So that's all I'm focusing on is the next day and focusing on football right now. Taylor, uh, Jason Hubert, WFNZ. Uh, we asked some of the other offensive linemen as well, but did you have any thoughts about possibly opting out, especially being a, a bigger guy who could have more concerns about uh, COVID? Um, no, I mean, I, obviously we all think about it, but I just, um, for me, I, I, <clears throat> I, I, I'm trying to think the best way to say it. I, I know that I'm going to take all the precautions I can to keep me and my family safe. And I'm take a, <clears throat> I love the precaution we're taking around the facility to make sure we're all safe as well you know with testing and all that good stuff and to me just uh, you know opportunity to play the game i love it and um, I'm, I'm just blessed to be here and happy to be here and i want to make the most of this so i just um i thought that it would be in my best interest to not opt out and be here full force ready to play taylor josh graham sports up triad um you're talking about the high energy and pace Obviously, Coach Rule comes from college, and when you were in college, you dealt with maybe the most energetic coach in P.J. Play. Uh, yeah. Does it almost feel like a college atmosphere with how fast and energetic the practices are? It, I mean, 
Yeah, Coach, Coach Fleck definitely um, in college. He's he's a very high energetic guy. Everything is very efficient. Practice might be an hour and twenty, hour and ten, but we're we're flying around getting everything we need done. Um, but yeah, it, it is it's crazy. I mean, I just I, I know that the way Coach Rule does it, he he and it's shown in his you know careers past how he's successful. So I'm just doing everything I can to buy into the program, um, full force, doing what I can. Hey, Tales for Taylor. Yeah, hey, Taylor. Uh, Vincent with the right report. Um, Matt Paradis said to us last week that uh, Coach Meyer had had sort of slightly different technical sort of um, points of emphasis than other coaches he's worked with previously. I was wondering for you as a tackler, obviously, he's different again, whether there'd been sort of a change in, in what you were being asked to do technically, whether that's sort of minor or, or major, and sort of how you found the, the change to, to Coach Meyer. Well, um, it's tough because I would. I don't want to. I don't want to say too much because you know it kind of comes in the schematics, you know, and what we're doing. But you know, I'll say that Coach Meyer is a great coach. I, I love working with him, and I'm excited to get to know him even better. Um, so you know, he just like all the other coaches I see around, they demand the best out of all their players. So I'm going to give him my best, you know, day in and day out. Anything else for Taylor, guys? Yeah, Taylor David Newton with ESPN.com. Um, you've been so consistent on the right side there for the last few years, and the left side's been kind of a, a lot of transition uh, injuries and other things going on. What has Russell meant to that group, bringing in some stability there, and what's it going to mean to have two stable guys on the edges of this offensive line? Yeah, um, Russell's a great guy. I can tell already, you know, great player. Um, group brings great leadership into the room. So definitely someone that, you know, we're all we're all happy to have in, in the room and I'm you know excited to be out there with them. Um, so yeah, we're I think we're all just fired up with the with the group we have and <clears throat> see, you know, it's just pumped to get out there finally, put on the pads and get going. Yeah, Taylor, I, I did want to ask you about that. Are you looking forward to putting on the pads finally? And you know, what will that do to you guys, you know, as OLs and you, you feel like it'll actually be camp then? Yeah, it, it's a. I'm very excited about it. I think we, you know, we all are. It's been it's been a while, and um, you know, obviously this adjustment phase, you know, especially on the offensive line, defensive line, getting used to that contact again. Because you know, obviously I've been grinding, working, you know, this whole time off. But it's just it, it's a little different when you got the actual NFL defensive end in front of you, and then you got to get you know those kind of footwork and the hands and all that stuff back. So, um, you know, putting on full pads is the next step because obviously without, you know, preseason games, it just, you know, it's that much more important that we get it down right. So we're ready to go September 12th. Everybody good? Can I ask just one quick question? Go ahead, Jonathan. Uh, up there. Yeah. Sailor, uh, Jonathan Alexander with the Charlotte Observer. I'm wondering in the short time that you've been able to see people, um, is there anybody who is, you know, new or whether that's returning that's really stood out? Like as a player? Yeah, as a player. Anybody you may have been surprised about? Anybody who you were really impressed with that maybe improved a little bit? Anything um, like that? There's a lot of improvements. Um, you know, I, I guess it's hard for me to see outside of, you know, what I'm doing. I'm, I've been so focused on, you know, what I'm doing day in and day out. Um, but it, it's good to see. Uh, it's, I've, seen a lot, I've seen a lot of improvements. It's hard to just pick one guy out. And... Um, <laughs> I might have to get back to you on that for one guy. But. 